Oh, yes, and we are back. Like we predicted, T-Rex is working on their 100% LHR Unlock. It is a test beta version. I'm going to download it, and I'm going to install it and uh, see how it does. And again, it is a beta version. It's a test version. So let's go. So what I did, I downloaded it, 0 0.26.0, and uh, installed it in my little miners GPU directory and let's make sure I always set the binary to be executable by admin so I go properties I know it's just kind of an OCD thing that way I know it's always going to run this program as an administrator so let's do it all right I got it now I copied over my old uh, my previous uh, Ethereum miner to two miners pool and I mine Ethereum and get paid out in Bitcoin. Awesome. I'm just going to keep it as is. I made sure I have the right path. It is 0.26.0-win uh, and everything else should be the same. We will see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to leave. I don't even think I need this. I'm not going to leave this crap in. I'm taking this LHR, LHR uh, settings out just in case it confuses it, confuses it, confuse, all right, confusion, me confusion, all right, uh, lock core clock, 1400, memory clock, 1060, save it, all right, let's, I'm just going to let it rip, baby, let's just do it, no guts, no glory, nothing else is running, my only concern is I've been running nice hash on this rig, and uh, also running MB miner. MB miner's crashing out on me. I think someone mentioned I need a BIOS update. So I haven't gone there yet. All right, let's go. ETH2 miners. Let's see what happens. Run it. Yes. All right, let's let it rip. We're going to watch this together. This is the first run. Usually when I do this, it fails. And even when I practice a few times and I record something, it fails. So it just goes to show you it's not completely easy for everybody. Some guys just plug and play and they're happy. And maybe that's the pro of HiveOS. I don't know. I still like getting down and dirty, figuring out why stuff isn't working, uh, and just uh, knowing exactly what's going on under the hood. But anyway, let's keep rolling. We'll see how far we get. I expect it may crash based on the Discord, but we will see. This is a rig of all. 3080 Ti LHR, uh, different models. Some are Asus Tough models. The other three are uh, the ROG Strix models, and we'll see what happens. While you while this runs, I'm going to read the Discord. You get a lot of information, guys, joining these mining discords, these T-Rex miner discords, the NB miner discord. Uh, you learn a lot of stuff. It's uh, it's almost good just to browse through it. Don't go crazy, but you can just scan through and do searches inside the Discord for keywords and find topics that people have been talking about and maybe pick up on some stuff. Holy crap! Right out of the gate, T-Rex Miner. Blammo! 118. No thrashing. No waiting. This is comparable to NiceHash. Look at the power, too. I'm glad this is what. Let's make sure I'm recording. Holy crap, if I miss this. Yes, we are recording. Awesome numbers, 118. Power is very nice. What? Look at the efficiency. I'm getting better efficiency on the bottom three cards than I did on NiceHash. And the power wattage is comparable to the previous version of T-Rex. Same as NiceHash. But number three, GPU 3 has always been a pain in my butt. And uh, it's always 300, 306. I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. 400. Look at the efficiency. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, right here, this last column is your efficiency column. Hash per watt use. And you want a good efficiency. Uh, don't mind my VM memory temps. They've always been hot. No solution to that at this point. I wanted to get copper thermal plates. They don't make them for the tough model of the 3080 Ti's. The guy doesn't make them yet. Uh, I put them on my 3070 Ti's. Blammo, rocket science, magic, drop temperatures by 50 degrees Celsius on the memory. I'm sold. 
So go check out, uh, what was the guy's name? ColeMyGPU.com, man. Go check out ColeMyGPU if you have high memory temps. Check your models, because like I said, this model, the top three are Asus Tough, and he doesn't have thermal plates for those. All right, let's just keep going. So previous I was running MB Miner, like I said, I was running NiceHash, had it stable, was tweaking with it, made some videos on tweaking with OC Tune and um, Quick Miner, learning new stuff. I never really messed with that. So you really can't do much damage unless you go to manual mode on the NiceHash dashboard and you have no overclocks ready to go. It's going to spin out of control. Like, like whatever's in that settings, it's going to freaking spike up in power usage and go turbo mode and you have to be on that so just be mindful of that don't just say manual and go go get a burger hit manual have the oc tune window up and get ready to go um yeah so we'll see how long this runs this is pretty damn impressive t-rex minor for the win i am a t-rex fanboy i'm loving it mb minor i did have problems i was getting um getting a td uh tdr error in windows and uh, I was then using uh, the uh, overclock settings in the batch file. Tried to use the MSI Afterburner. Took them out of the batch file just to see if I was doing the overclocks wrong. But it was running fine and just it went it went toes up. And then someone did post that I probably need to update the BIOS. So I'm going to look into that and get some more information on the uh, GPU BIOS or the motherboard BIOS. Because my motherboard, I think, is pretty up to date. The MSI x470 max gaming plus whatever i have i love those motherboards i got them cheap too now they're like 180 and i don't think they make them anymore all right so my mem temps are getting a little hot i don't know like i said in my other videos previous version of t-rex i was getting 93 mega hash at this increase in mega hash and the power, pretty much the power usage is the same. It's just the temps are a little bit hotter. I love it. I mean, again, I say that's, I I think I've increased my mega hash on ETH hash about 180. Again, which I equate to roughly 6, 16, 60 uh, super cards, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA 1660 super cards. And that's about a couple thousand bucks. Oh, we just got a CUDA exception. Okay, I know what those are. I think that is overclock settings. Maybe the new miner doesn't like the older settings I've been using, so maybe I'll tweak down the memory. And what I do is right now all the settings, the settings go to all GPUs on the rig, but you, you can specify each device you want to run, and then... If I want a fan speed to be 100 for the first one and 10 for the second one, you just go 100 comma 10 and then split it out. Yeah, we're having some issues right now. What's going on? It's the uh, CUDA exception. Can't find device of nonce. Yeah, I think that is definitely overclock. Yeah, it's on GPU 2 and 3 right now. Ah, let's just let it run. So off the bat, it did well. I may have to tweak down the memory clock and or the overclock settings, the lock core clock settings. All right, let's just watch it for a minute. This is the first run, guys. While this is running, I'm going to go to the Discord and check for the CUDA error just to make sure if anyone else is seeing it. All right, other people are reporting crashes. Again, this is a test release. It is not publicly available on their uh, website yet. All right. So there it tells me I GPU kind of turned it up. GPU 3 crashed out. Let's see how far. Again, it comes right back. There's no, there's no thrashing on trying to compute what's the best hash I can get. It goes right to 118. There's none of the LHR unlock. It just unlocks it apparently right away. So RIP, LHR, RIP, low hash rate, no more. NVIDIA, sorry. And that, it might be a, a ploy too by NVIDIA to release how to do this. 
so the it drives the uh, LHR cards way up because I think they were starting to back up on the shelves. People are not buying LHR cards with the imposing or the uh, upcoming uh, POS Ethereum merge. And uh, people just aren't buying GPUs. So I think all those LHR cards are just sitting around. And maybe this is a, a, a tactic, conspiracy theory, uh, conspiracy theory to have the GPU prices go up again on LHR cards. Yeah, mem temps are a little high there, 106. Yeah. Let's just let it rip, see how far we get. Again, it, it is a test version. I'm, I'm digging the power. I watch the power. The efficiency is, uh, oh, it's dropping now. Okay. It was really good when it first started. So the bottom three cars have dropped. It is all, it's getting comparable to nice hash. So we're almost at nice hash, nice hash performance levels. Which makes sense. The LH, LHR card is the LHR card. I mean, you can only do so much with it uh, in the software. So let's see. How are we looking? I mean, the, the mega hash is, is, is uh, consistent. It's just the uh, mem temps and the, uh, what else we got? Fans are up there. That's fine. I always crank my fans. Fans are cheap. Get as much airflow as you can over those cards. Yeah, 380. All right. Efficiency is a bit better using T-Rex. And again, test version. Oh, we lost. All right, yeah, there it goes. And we just got a TDR failure. So something's going on. I gotta, I'm going to reinstall the driver. And I did see this on one of the versions of... Uh, T-Rex earlier, so I'm going to have to maybe reinstall the driver and see what's going on. So that's where I'm at right now. Let me do that, and I'll get back. Hold on. All right, we are back. We had a little Windows TDR NVIDIA error, and that usually means bad driver or overclocks or something like that. So I went into the uh, T-Rex miner. I'm mining to two miners, and I just went and changed the memory clock down from 1060 to 1000 just to see if lowering the uh, memory clock will keep it a little more stable. Again, it is a test version. It's a beta version, uh, 026.0, so I know it's going to be flaky. Uh, let's just see how this runs. Uh, the numbers look great right out of the bat, uh, right out of the gate, right? Uh, what I've seen before with the previous version of T-Rex and uh, pretty much what I've seen with Nice hash, yeah. Little better efficiency than nice hash, and that's all based on the hash you're getting, the mega hash, to the watts used. Oh, uh, that's this value right here. So that's the efficiency. You really want to go as efficient as you can, and that's why you gotta spend some time playing with the overclocks, seeing what works best for your card, kind of get a general idea of what they should be at, but then you gotta tweak them. Because as I'm seeing with my six 3080 Ti's, they, they all kind of act differently. It's kind of bizarre. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. We're going to let this run and see if we get another blue screen. Uh, if we do, we may uh, just hold off until they keep refining it. I'll report what I've seen on the Discord to see if the developers need any of that information. But looking good. I'm, I just love that it just slams right into the uh, high hash rate at 118, 117. And not much more power usage and efficiency is good. So looking good. I like it. I like that all the miners are putting out their LHR unlocks. It gives life, uh, extended life, more profitable life to these LHR cards, which we, I know I did. I spent a lot of money on because they weren't cheap. And I used a, oh, there we go. We just got the CUDA error again. So we're starting to repeat. All right, it's resetting. We got the CUDA error same thing we saw before on three. All right. I know that's a test software. So I might, I'm still skeptical because I ran MB Miner and I've been running nice hash on this box. And I might reinstall the NVIDIA driver just to make sure things are clean and, uh, and then try this again and maybe lower the memory down a little bit more. All right. That, uh, yeah. Stay by, we'll do that. All right, I'm just trying to think out of the box. Okay, I've been tweaking the T-Rex settings. Uh, again, it is a test version. 
and I'm running 630 ADTI Ti LHR cards, I put the memory clock at zero down from 1060 and I left the absolute lock core clock at 1400. Started back up and we have 105 mega hash. Uh, what's the efficiency? Oh, all right. Efficiency is roughly the same uh, because I'm using a little bit less watts. Hash is a lot lower because, again, it was 118. And temps are looking really good. I'm running at zero. I just want to see how long this will run because it is a test release. And when I, I want to see if I can get past that CUDA error uh, and the TDR errors that I've been seeing in Windows just to help roll out is it the NVIDIA driver? Is it my Windows box, which is fresh? I reinstalled the whole operating system the other day. Uh, but I've been running Nice Hash and NB Miner as well. So I don't think that really, I don't think that does anything. I hope not. But uh, let's just run this for a bit because I'm going to stick with T Rex Miner. I want T Rex to be the win here. Uh, I wasn't having much luck with NB Miner on Windows, it would crash after a little bit. And I'm not sure. I, I I was digging through the Discord and couldn't find a solution. So I want to. I just want to focus on T-Rex. Help them test and keep rolling. Uh, let this run for a bit. And again, even in zero me memory mode, I was getting 93 before. I'm getting 105. And on Nice Hash, I was getting above 115. I can always go back to Nice Hash. I just want to go with T-Rex. But uh, I'm going to let this run to see how long I can. Uh, keep it keep it going and see if it crashes uh, and then maybe I'll start upping the memory all right that's where I'm at right now I will be back I'll be back after this has been running for a little bit all right okay so I checked the discord all right so I just went into discord with nice thing about discord you can just search in the channels and that'll show you all the all the uh, results you just hit what's going on select it it shows you the conversation so it seems like that CUDA error, unknown error, nonce, with, you know, can't find nonce with device ID, GPU number, CUDA exception, uh, seems to be, seems to be uh, occurring a lot on the test version. That's fine. It's the test version. It's a beta version. So that's what I'm getting now. So setting the overclocks, the memory overclocks really wasn't a thing. I'm just going to leave it at, leave it the way it is right now and go back to nice hash. So I just keep my rigs working. And then keep my eye on the Discord for when they get a new test release out. Then I'll download that and try it again. All right, that is where I'm at. That's part of the evolution of getting new mining software out. This LHR unlock is incredible. I mean, like I said, it's giving me at least 180 extra mega hash. And that equates to six 1660 supers without buying risers, cables, power supplies, blammo, what a win, awesome. I might actually ROI my rig by the end of the year, as long as Ethereum doesn't go proof of stake anytime before December, I should be good. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. Takes a lot of work and time to sit here tuning, rebooting your machine. Uh, it might be easier in Hive OS, maybe, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just working with Windows. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this helps people, lets people know what's going on. A lot of mining software is doing the 100% LHR unlock, nice hash, MB miner, and now T-Rex is uh, getting there on their test release. They're getting close. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'm out.